Yeah. Alright guys, welcome back to this week's episode. Uh, we've been grinding in the shop and I feel like we haven't really had too many like large updates for you guys so I really wanted to save the footage for today. But anyways, uh, we're about to start the car for the first time since our four week break in racing and uh, just let her warm up, make sure she warms up and then also there, aside from this video there's a video of just the car running. Uh, I just figured maybe it'd be cool for people to hear an LS and a 240 and just raw, a lot less talking, so check it out. But with that being said, let's get into today's episode. We're going to start the car, we're going to clean the car, we're going to go to cap skid and alignment, and then uh, that should fulfill today's obligations that will get us ready for clutch kickers round four. Here we go. I've been waiting for this to fully load as of recently, uh, just because sometimes I've noticed it struggles a bit if I don't let it fully load. A little bit down on, on power, uh, the battery's been plugged in the whole time. Fuel pressure's been awesome, so we've got this back up and running. Uh, we've seen like 100 PSI yesterday, me and Brandon. Um, yeah, so we messed with the regulator, got her back to where she's happy, about 65 PSI. A little high, but she soaks up a lot of fuel, so she needed it. Alright, here we go. You guys good? Not good. The drama continues. I found this. Let's see if you guys can see here. Thinking it could be something simple, maybe where this was a little loose. Our wiring is also from like the 1900s, so it's a little bit outdated, but that's loose, so maybe that was the reason why. Brandon's here to save us. He's a small one, so I don't. <laughs> yeah. Round two. Main power. Ignition. Wait for screen to load. This is what I don't understand. If anybody in the comments knows more about this shit than me, comment right now. Basically, I turn my ignition on. My screen tries but doesn't work. So if I turn it off and I turn it back on, What I notice a lot of is every time I string our steering wheel, it's not doing this thing. But whenever I was leading with our steering wheel. It's like it's picky and now it's perfect. Now it worked. Then the fuel, Adrian, is like drawing so much power. We're down to eight. All right, here we see where we're at. We got this charger on the little battery, this charger on the big battery. And uh, yeah, we're letting the car charge. I think we were just down on some voltage. The car's been sitting for four weeks, right? So. Predictions? I think it'll work. It's gonna start. Bailey. You think the car will start or no? Yes. All right. <laughs> Hell yeah. We now have 12, can you see this? 12.4 volts with ignition on. So we're going to try it out. All right, you good?
No, it doesn't look like it. Whoa. All right, little update. We're sweating it out here, nice and humid. Uh, we are headed to Caps to get an alignment. Uh, one last small issue would be oil leaking. So, uh, we'll figure that out when we get to Caps. All right, we made it to Caps. Round two, alignment time. So I feel like uh, A, the storm's about to blow my hat off, but B, just want to give a big shout out to Caps Automotive for uh, getting us in. They have a new location. Yeah, dude, Eddie always comes through like anytime we need. So I'm sure to the general public, if you guys plan ahead, he can get you knocked out. Our last alignment went super great. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna grab this front bumper and the boys are getting started over there. So whew, we're getting closer, man. Clutch kickers, we're coming for you. We are. Uh, we're doing everything we can to be as prepared as possible to win this race. I feel like uh, I'm focused and I'm excited and the car is giving me a little bit of issues just with startup. Um, so I gotta get Eric from Holly on the phone, see if we can't uh, butter up the tune just a little bit because now that everything's running properly, it makes sense that the tune is a little bit grumpy. everybody Adrian here what's up YouTube <laughs> <laughs> so we got the rear end kind of where we want it we had not a lot to do um, Brandon did a really good job when we switched subframes to uh, align everything to spec so all we really had to do was mess with toe and just a tad bit of camber and now we're just we got it on a little jig if you will and we're gonna try and squat it down to see where our tow gain is um, so we know how much tire we're going to use whenever we drift. Yep. Eddie, how's so, it looking? It's looking like when you squat it, when you're squatted in, you're getting back to your old specs and that you are almost a full half or half an inch towed in. Um, that's at squat, so yeah. that's so perfect for what we were gain. doing before. Yeah. I'm pretty sure before when we were half an, like half an inch in, yeah. it was probably looking at more like three quarters inch. Yeah. Ahead. Full squat, so it's so good then, that we have the straps this time to kind of set it up properly. I and agree. Get done right. So too much toe in can equal like a zero. Like then it's just getting no bite. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I think that's what happened. At ND. Yeah. So really, we're only getting like max toe in under those moments of just like under yeah. full, full on load. Yeah. You're squatting. You're getting that toe. Yeah. In. So now on that part shop max, the toe gain, the toe gain adjustment. Mm -hmm. We still have one more to go, and then yes. that would apply more toe. Yes. But we don't really want to do that because so we're gearing yeah. 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 So maybe if you're, yeah, I would keep it where it's We're kind of like maxed to where we like the toe gain to end up. Yeah. Sick. Well, here it is, guys. This is the rear end. So yeah, we have some positive camber, positive camber, a little bit more than half a degree. Um, or I'm sorry. No, that's close Half. to zero because we're, we're squatted. Oh, true. So right now we have it under load and that's almost at zero degrees camber. Gotcha. So that's good. We'll be using all of your tire when you're squatting. Yes. Um, and then your toe is almost a degree in at load. Full load. So you're getting that, that toe gain in when you squat. Yep. And then when you're back up, you're, we'll show you in a sec, but it'll show like 0.7 positive camber and then three our three eighths toe in. Gotcha. But yeah, like Adrian said, man, the uh, like overall preparation coming to caps went so well that there's not a ton of work to do. So thanks to Brandon. Thanks to Brandon. Thanks we got the rear end pretty much wrapped up and now we're onto the front, which is just a toe adjustment. That worked out well. Caster went back perfect. Kinda nuts, man. Kinda crazy. Alright. 
front numbers. Three, three on camber. So, not bad. Caster, we moved up a little bit. Usually, usually on caster, I'm running about four and a half, almost five degrees. And yeah, now we're right about six. So, we got it as close as we could for a super wrecked bent frame, pulled it out, you know. So, yeah, it should be good. And then uh, toe adjustments, we have about three eighths overall in the front, out. 3 eighths overall in, in the rear. And yeah, we're pretty happy with this. So I think me and Brandon are just gonna throw on this front bumper, do a quick, quick sweep of the wheels, and go from there. So yeah, these are from uh, Arrow Catch. I know a lot of people were asking about these and then I broke the last ones or whatever, but I got their newest ones and same thing, like check it out. So basically, you just kick this thing open, this dude grabs, these fall right out. So this little piece kind of works as like whatever, like a little dowel or whatever and it lines up. My bumper needs a little persuasion because she's a drift car. But once you get this, In here, this dude will grab it. Here, we're looking good. For those who don't know, we end up trimming these 2F stuff just because. How you looking, Brandon? All good? Not all cleared. So, this is where our problem child is, just slightly. There. It clears now. Good? <laughs> he said it clears now. Alright, cool. You said it clear? It'll he clear just... it if I pull it out. So that's gotta be the reason, yeah. See what watch. Go full? He's doing it. He's doing his thing. He's busy. Sweet. Thank you we appreciate it. We bro. always appreciate 144 in the house. That's right. I'm a... Thank you, Eddie. No problem, man. And just like that, we are back at the shop. Uh, thank you, Caps. The alignment went super smooth. Obviously, we did an alignment at Caps not too long ago in a previous episode, uh, which this one went way more smooth. So yeah, dude, the car's aligned. Uh, last thing on the list of things to do would be to get with Eric and really just kind of overlook the tune. Um, so yeah, we're waiting on Eric's call right now. And from here, we're gonna load up and go to Clutch Kickers. So. Yeah, basically, if you guys don't see the Eric part because it gets too late or something, thanks for watching this episode and uh, wish me luck. We're going to Clutch Kickers. I'm fourth in points overall. Two more races to go. I'm really looking for a good race right here and then to finish the season, hopefully winning a championship. Uh, but yeah, dude, I love the car. Thanks for the good vibes. We got the uh, purple side, which is my favorite, the splash. And then this is actually blue going to black, but man, it's such a dark metallic blue. You can barely tell. But yeah, we're back home. Everything's good, cars up and running. See you guys at Florida.